What's going on everybody? Welcome to part three of our Flask Ask uh, Alexa Skills Python uh, tutorial series. In this video, what we're going to be doing is actually deploying the skill and testing it on our actual device. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, to do it, we need, uh, well, you could have two, th one of two things. You can either use ngrok, which will securely tunnel to your local host. So if you don't have an HTTPS enabled, you are an endpoint that you can make use of. You'll need to use ngrok. If you do, put this application on there. So, for like I was saying before, I could put this on pythonprogramming.net, for example. That's HTTPS, and I could run it. Um, but since I'm assuming probably most of you don't have that, and if you did have that, you would know how to do that. Um, I'm not going to cover that, and instead we're going to use uh, ngrok. So go ahead and d uh, click download here. It's just ngrok.com/download, and then download whatever version is. Uh, matches you. Now, uh, we're going to come over to, uh, basically when you download it, I just kind of put it in here. Um, you should get this, you can extract it, we'll extract it here, and then I'm going to move it into here. So into the same place with my uh, script is. That's not, it's not necessary to be there, it's just going to make it easier for me. Now I'm going to open up the command line, uh, if I find I guess I didn't do it right. Anyway, you can hold shift and then right click and it'll be an option on Windows. Control T or actually just right click on Linux and you'll be there. Anyway, um, now to use it, we're going to say ngrok to call it. We're going to say over what protocol do we want to use. Uh, we're going to use HTTP for now. Uh, and then on what port? Well, uh, the Flask development server uses port 5000. Boom, we run it. And now for forwarding, we have an HTTP address and we have an HTTPS address. That's going to make Amazon happy. Amazon is just basically requiring of us to have an HTTPS uh, enabled endpoint. So let's do it. Uh, so let me see here. We're going to bring over as soon as I find it. I've got too many screens. Here we go. So now, going to developer.amazon.com, uh, go ahead and log in or create an account if you don't have one. And just as a reminder, or I guess I haven't even said it, as a note, make sure that this account is the same account as you're using on your uh, Alexa device. So, because this is just, in, we're just developing this and running it kind of in development. You could push it to production if it's something decent. This is really not production ready at the moment. Um, please don't steal my skill. But, but anyway, this is just in development. So when it's in development, it's only pushed basically live for you and your account. So anyways, um, once you're here, click on the Alexa tab. And we're going to do Alexa Skills Kit. And then there's a button right here. Uh, we're going to click that and we're going to start a new skill. We'll leave everything as default besides the things that I mentioned. So first, the name, we're going to call this Reddit Reader. That's just the name of the app, basically, if it was in the App Store or something like that, it'd be Reddit Reader. And then invocation name, we're going to say um, Reddit Reader. This is the name that your users will actually use to invoke the app. Okay, we'll hit next. And now we get to the intent and sample utterances. So for the intent schema, I'm not going to make everybody write it because it's just kind of frustrating and annoying. So I will put in the description of this video uh, the following thing I'm about to copy and paste here. Uh, and so you can either grab there if I forget, someone yell at me. If I do forget and you're watching and I'm not available for whatever reason, um, the, it's, it's in the text-based version of this tutorial as well. So you could go to that and do that. So anyway, um, so there to find the text-based tutorial, just go to pythonprogram.net, search Alexa or something like that, and you will find it. Anyway, paste. So this is our intent schema. So this is basically how, how, um, how Alexa knows basically how someone will traverse your application. So in, in our case here, someone, when someone says yes, uh, how does the application know what to do when someone says yes? Okay. How does it really know where, and, and then, and also like, you might have multiple, maybe one function for a yes intent, but maybe depending on where you are in that app, that might go to a different location and so on. So we have these schemas because this is how we can actually truly build the pathways people could take. This is a really simple schema. There's only two things, but like, for example, in this kind of 
we'll call it a dictionary for now, um, you could in theory have another dictionary or basically JSON objects and stuff. You could stuff more things in there, right? So that could be, this could be, you could add more paths in here and they could go different ways and so on. Right now, the app literally has, it's a list of intents and there's only two intents. There's only two directions you could go. You could say yes or say no. But after you say yes, continuing along here, you might be able to uh, say many other things, right? And the app might continue on. You might have another yes or no question or something like that. So with a simple schema, it can be relatively confusing as to what the whole point of intent schemas even are. Uh, but as you think about how would I create a more complex app, it starts to make a little bit more sense. So anyways, those are your intent schemas. Now you have sample utterances. Now the utterances are basically the words people might say to trigger intents. So for example, for like yes intent, someone might say yes. Or um, another one might be uh, yes intent. They might say sure. How about for no intent? Well, it might be no. Um, another one might be uh, intent, uh, go away. <laughs> okay, so stuff like that. So you can keep adding as many as you want. And again, these are just, this is what the user says. So the Alexa device will determine if that's what the person said. You don't have to do any programming there. Um, so that's pretty nifty, but you definitely need to cover the words that might trigger those intents. Okay, once you've done that, we'll go ahead and hit next. It's going to build that model and that can take a little bit, but usually it'll skip us, yes it did, to the next thing. Now for endpoints, you can either have an HTTPS URL or you can use AWS Lambda. Uh, for now, we're gonna use HTTPS. You can pick North America or Europe, depending where you are. I'm gonna say North America. And then we're just gonna use this one, this HTTPS address. Your numbers will be different, so don't type what I type, type whatever you have. So once you've typed what's here, recall our code, um, our endpoint, I said was slash Reddit reader. If you didn't say, if you just said slash and you didn't create a homepage like we did uh, for the Flask app, then it would just, you could just leave it like this. But I said it's actually hosted at Reddit reader. So I'm gonna also put that in there. Otherwise not changing anything, gonna hit next. Uh, for the certificate, if you have your own HD best enabled server, um, then you would hit this first one. But since we're using ngrok, We've got subdomains here, and when you have a just infinite number of subdomains, that means they're using a wildcard certificate. Um, that doesn't mean everything with a subdomain is using a wildcard, but in the case of ngrok, they are using one just because they can have just infinite subdomains. So anyways, we'll hit next there. And testing is enabled. We're ready to go. Remember our invocation name was Reddit Reader. So let me pull up my um, device here. Alexa, start Reddit Reader. Hello there, would you like the news? No. I am not sure why you asked me to run then, but okay, <laughs> bye. Okay, I have too much fun. Alexa, start Reddit Reader. Hello there, would you like the news? Yes. The current world news headlines are the richest 1% of Indians now own 58.4% of wealth. 80,000 reindeer have starved to Alexa, death in Siberia. Okay, so as you can see, we're actually, we're reading the headlines uh, and all that. There was a, a, a decent delay with the whole yes, that would be nice if it was faster. We're pretty much getting that because we're forcing that one second sleep in there. Um, but uh, that's just mostly so the API doesn't get angry with us. Uh, you could, maybe you could, rather than all running this all at once, you could just log in immediately or something like that, and then you wouldn't have this exact problem. Anyways, um, this was just supposed to be a really simple example. I don't expect that you guys are actually trying to run and read Reddit exactly headlines. I just wanted to show how we could take a single Python function that does something and actually do something with the Alexa device. So anyways, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and all that, uh, feel free to leave them below. Also, just I will note if you are interested in like reading headlines and, and like doing things like reading the news and stuff like that, you should look into the flash briefing from um, from Amazon. Just just Google like Alexa flash brief briefing because um, there's some good information there. I 
decided, at least up to this point, not to do that because, again, I just don't think everybody wants to know how to do that specific thing. But I think pretty much everybody would be interested in doing a, a function of some type, right? So you can modify this to do anything you want. So anyways, question, comments below. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in another tutorial.